Welcome to the sacristy. The sacristy is the room we prepare for the sacraments. So it is in this room that we get ready for Holy Mass. When you come to assist at a weekend mass, a daily mass, a wedding, a funeral, or any other liturgical event, you are invited to come into the sacristy. Oftentimes you will enter the sacristy through the outside door. However, if you come into the church building with your family or just come into the church building by yourself and enter the sacristy from the main body of the church, you are asked to genuflect reverently to our Lord in the Most Blessed Sacrament prior to making your way into this room. We do ask that you arrive at least 10 minutes prior to Mass so you can prepare yourself and also do whatever might need to be done to get ready for Mass through aiding and assisting the sacristan. Normally, upon your arrival, the first thing that you'll do is get vested for Holy Mass. We use the word ves vested as a way to talk about putting on our proper vestiture or vestment uh, for Mass. That's why we use the word vesting. So, if you are a young server, you would be wearing an alb. As a reminder, the word alb comes from the Latin word alba or alba, which is the word for white. The white garment is worn by servers and in fact is the most visible and tangible reminder that we have of what we're really all doing here, which is becoming saints. The saints always wear white in heaven. We hear this in the book of Revelation and other places uh, throughout the Bible. So there are appropriate albs. Um, they always are labeled. Uh, with the number on the hanger and are hung up in numerical order as well. Uh, once the alb is put on, uh, we also then tie a rope around our waist, just making a normal tie. There's a very short ropes. And then lastly, uh, all of our servers wear uh, a cross around their neck. Our sacristans, who are the people who help out in the sacristy, preparing for the sacraments, uh, the person is called a sacristan. Uh, they are always willing to help servers uh, who might need help uh, tying their rope uh, or making sure that they have the right size alb on. For the older gentlemen who are serving, they of course would be wearing a cassock and surplus, which are always once again also hung on a hanger very nicely and uh, the hanger always identifies the, the, the size of the cassock. Of course, when we put on our cassocks or take them off, we always make sure that they are, are hung nicely and properly. As you wait for Holy Mass, we always ask that after you get your alb or your cassock and surplus on, that you wait patiently. We also ask that you wait silently and that you prepare for uh, Mass, even in your own mind, calling to mind your intentions, um, and just making yourself available and ready uh, as the good Lord desires you to. The sacristan might ask you to light the candles prior to Holy Mass. So I'd like to quickly show uh, the proper way to light this. This is, of course, metal. There's normally a long wooden handle on it. Uh, and then this is a, a piece of wax, a wick right here. And it loops through a little piece of metal that then pulls down into this shaft. If you're gonna light the candles uh, with either the help of the sacristan or if you're able to light a candle, I mean to, to light a lighter, you would light the wick like this. You would then go and light the candles on the altar. When you come back into the sacristy or just after lighting the last candle, you would pull this wick into here, but then you must push it back out. So you pull it to extinguish it, but you must push it back out. If you don't push it back out, the wax that is on this part of the wick will actually get stuck inside. And then we have to use a, like a, a torch to actually re-melt re the wax to be able to get the wick to come back out. So when lighting candles, um, you would use this, keeping the wax string or the wick outside, lighting it. When you're done with it, you can then snuff it like that, but to make sure that you, that you put it back out. If you're lighting really tall candles on the altar, um, 
it is often helpful to take this wick and to bend it down a little bit like this, which then actually gives you a longer controlled wick so that when you are placing this from a lower angle down below, the, the flame is actually falling kind of down into the top of the candle uh, for lighting uh, tall candles um, on the altar. It's just a, just a small little uh, trick of the trade. <coughs> Lastly, while we're in the sacristy, the last thing that we do after the candles are lit, we receive instructions from the priest, sometimes the deacon or the sacristan, would be then that we would say our altar server promises and our altar server prayer. It's important to pray before everything that we do, so we always pray before we head to Mass. We also make promises to God and to each other on how we will serve. Those are always listed clearly on the sacristy wall. Uh, you'll see a picture of them right here as well. We always recite those together as a group of people preparing for Holy Mass, and we recite the prayer together as well. And then we make our way, normally out the side the sacristy door, around to the front of the church. Those who are carrying torches would have torches, those who have crosses or the thurible or the incense, whatever it might be, would carry those with them at that point. So this is what we do in the sacristy. We prepare uh, by getting vested properly, asking the sacristans or the priests if there's things that need attentive attention before mass, and then also lighting candles and then saying our promises and our prayers. Thank you for your attentiveness to watching this video.